Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to do a problem in hydraulics and we're going to calculate the loss of fluid energy using Hazen Williams. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos and let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so we're giving a flow rate uh, for water that's going through a 1000 feet pipe that has four inch diameter and the fluid temperature is 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The roughness coefficient C is 139. So whenever you see roughness coefficient C, you should think of Hazen Williams. Uh, and we need to calculate the loss of fluid energy, meaning we need to find the head loss due to friction in this pipe. So let's look at the reference handbook and I wanna show you guys a couple equations for Hazen Williams, so that way you don't really get confused and you know which equation is for what. So if you go to the reference manual and you type in Hazen Williams, it will probably take you to this section, which is on fluids, uh, page 111. You do have two Hazen Williams equations here, one for velocity, one for the flow rate. But note guys that we, not, we don't wanna calculate for the, the velocity and flow rate. In fact, the flow rate was given to us already we're looking for the loss of fluid energy. It's like the head loss. Uh, it's like in the previous video when we calculated the head loss using Darcy. There's also another way of calculating head loss using Hazen Williams. Um, and they're actually kind of like close when you use uh, both equations. They, they turn out to be close, Darcy and Hazen Williams. Okay, so then after this, you want to kind of go to the hydraulic section because that's where the... Uh, that equation is actually provided to us. So again, here they do give you those equations in fluids that we saw uh, earlier. They are provided to you here as well, velocity and flow rate using Hazen Williams. But then also here, you are giving the head loss um, equation. So this is pretty much the equation we're going to use. Make sure you guys, you're careful with the units. Uh, so we gotta convert all the units here. So L has to be in feet, so that's fine. Our diameter is in inches, so we gotta make sure we convert it to feet. And then Q is in gallons per minute, so we have to make sure that's in cubic feet per second. And the coefficient is usually dimensionless, so uh, it's just 139. So yeah, that's it. It's going to be very simple problem, guys. It is very common FE civil question, like I said before. So let's write the equation and start plugging the numbers. Okay, guys, so L is 1,000 feet. Uh, C is 139, and then D, we said we have to convert it, right? So we just do 4 inches, and we divide it by 12, and this is to the power of 4.87. And then there's Q. Well, Q, we got to convert it uh, to cubic feet per second. So we have Q, let's do it separate. I like to do that. So Q is equal to 310 gallons per minute. Okay, actually, if we go to the reference manual and we go under the unit section, let me show you guys how to convert this. I've had a couple students ask me if I can show uh, the units uh, as I'm doing the problems and that really uh, helps, so I'll just do that here as well. So we wanna convert gallons per minute to cubic feet per second. So first what we wanna do is convert the gallons into cubic feet and then we're going to convert the minute to seconds, okay? So here, uh, we're going to try to look for gallons and then cubic feet, it's right here. So it says, multiply the gallon by 0.134 to get cubic feet, right? So all I gotta do is take 310 gallons, multiply it by this number here, 0 0.134, and that would already give me cubic feet. Not cubic feet per second, but just cubic feet. Okay, so let's do that, guys. So we said multiply it by 0 0.134 cubic feet, uh, and this is per one gallon. So gallon is done. Now I gotta convert minutes. So we know that we have uh, 60 seconds in one minute. So one minute is equal to 60 seconds. I get minute cancels, and then I have seconds in, in the denominator. And so I have now, I have cubic feet per second. Perfect, exactly what we want. So if you multiply this, you should get about 0 0.69 cubic feet per second, okay? So let's go back here, original equation and plug in 0 0.69 cubic feet per second. 
and this is to the power of 1.852. So if you guys plug in this, you will get about 54 feet. So the answer is going to be B. Okay guys, so that will be it for today. On the next video, we're going to do a problem on mechanics of materials. So make sure you subscribe so you see more videos. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up and I will see you soon. À la prochaine.